There you go, Rich. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Oh, man, right. that one's fun. Oh, that's a nice 16 one. 16 inches. Look at that. On the yellow corn and the grub. Ooh, that's a hard fight. Well, that's a nice flounder that's right a there. That's a nice rabbit and bay flounder. That's right what there. keeps the cameraman coming back from That's more. right. Henry, that's a nice flounder. Yeah. Oh, man. Barely had him hooked in there. It's almost like a fluke. Still, yep. mud on that one, too. Some mud on him, yep. Just laying in the mud. And you see, you can scratch it off and actually clean him off, but he's just laying in the mud. Yeah. He's waiting for food to come to him in a chump slick. Just Look taking it that. easy. That's nice a nice big flounder. female there, Look yeah? That, yeah. And he's already spawned out and actually on their yeah. way, starting to move out of the bay, right? right? they're starting to work their way out. A couple weeks ago, they were way, way, way in the west end of the bay, probably right. about a mile from here. And then slowly they'll start going and then wind up on Roma Shoal and the Cedars, but right now they kind of seem to be concentrated in this area right now. A lot of those boats out of Sheep's Head Bay live on the Roma Shoals in May. Right. You know, it's almost May now, but that's what happens. These flounder, they start to move because they're going to look for their, their temperature climate that right. they like. Plus, when the bluefish show up, they're out of here fast. <laughs> that's a nice flounder right there. Yeah, it is. Nice one. Pull winner so far. Yep, you got the prize so far.